I was walking by and um, I saw the bishop and the church praying against abortion. And um, I, I know that there's a lot of dichotomy and opposite opposing views on abortion. But if we can just take a step back as men and as women and just think about abortion. A lot of people are saying our body, our choice. And you're right, but why not say my body, my choice before abortion would ever even be considered an option? And that should be something women and men should think about because it's not just the woman who suffers a great deal and then doesn't get the comfort in return, but it's the innocent child that is coming from the heavens that has feelings the minute it's procreated. Also, the father, that when an abortion is taken place, the turmoil and the tortured soul that he feels, that everybody seems to ignore. So by considering abortion as something of a choice, we're ignoring one another's feelings. Our feelings is what makes us happy, is what makes us sad. Why do we want to ignore each other's feelings? That's not what we want to do. So this is something to consider um, before abortion, consider before procreating, just consider what the consequences, if there are any consequences, if you're in trouble, call somebody, anybody, to help you figure something out. Don't stay alone. Don't try to figure this out on your own. Go to a church. Go ask somebody at a prayer house. Go ask your neighbor. Go ask a friend. It's time of when everybody turns their back on you that you feel like you're gonna make the right decision, but it's not. Don't be afraid. Think about all the options before this can ever even be considered an option. Um, I'm against Planned Parenthood. I'm, a, I'm, I'm against uh, abortion because of how many people it kills. It doesn't kill you just physically. It kills you emotionally. It kills you spiritually. It kills your soul. And like, like the deacon and the, um, and the bishop said, we have another life after this.